In the meantime, armed forces have been challenged to end violations against children and take solid actions to protect the country's children by ensuring the recruitment and abuse is stopped. Participants at a three-day workshop discussed the way forward for a final draft that will lead to a comprehensive action plan aimed at preventing violations against children in armed conflict. The participants are a mixed batch, including senior military generals and commanders from South Sudan's People's Defense Force, other armed groups like the Splahio and the South Sudan Opposition Alliance, civil society officials and officials from the National Demobilization and Disarmament Commission. The children of South Sudan need peace and they need freedom. They need to be secure like all the children in the whole world. They need to be doing things that children do. They need to go back to school. They need to be productive members of their community in future. And that cannot be done in, in, within conflict and that cannot be done if they are part of the armed forces or if their schools are attacked or destroyed, if they are denied their humanitarian access. All those things cannot happen. The future of the children in this country cannot happen in that background. There is a standing command order to all the field commanders to report any illegal recruitment of children to the Army. The Department of Child Protection under Assistant Chief of Defense Forces for Moral Orientation has conducted numerous workshops in the divisions and units how to discourage children joining the Army and how to identify children and report them to the nearest civil authorities. Let us move together with our brothers and sisters in different countries to make sure that we are respected as a family of the global world, respecting the rule of law, respecting the human rights, and respecting the right of children to demobilize them in all our ranks.